Welcome back guys. <clears throat> um, today I thought I'd do an install video to illustrate how easy it is <clears throat> to install even Manjaro Linux, uh, which uh, because it is an Arch distribution, some people think it's very difficult. Plain vanilla Arch is very difficult, <clears throat> excuse me, but Manjaro is not. So I'm going to go through the install procedure with you and uh, you'll see how easy it actually is. So I'm going to do it in VirtualBox because that's really the only way that I can illustrate it clearly to you considering the limitations of video. Um, so let's start my Manjaro installer. Now when you first power up your USB you, first, first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to the Manjaro website and let me see if I can pull up the Manjaro website. So if you go to Manjaro, manjaro.org is where you want to go and you want to click on download, stable releases, and then you want to pick either XFCE or KDE and I'm going with XFCE because I prefer it over KDE. Um, XFCE is a nice simple desktop environment very easy to transition to from Windows. So you'll just click on the XFCE whether you have a 64-bit machine or a 32-bit machine you click on the appropriate uh, download and then you will burn it to a USB drive. Now burning it to a USB drive is very easy. You can use um, in within Windows you can use a program called UNET Button. U-N-E-T-B-O-O-T-I-N. -O -O download that and follow the directions and you'll burn your uh, downloaded ISO file to your USB. Then you will plug in your USB and you're gonna you're gonna go into your BIOS to boot off the USB. If you're not sure how to do that, um, take a look at the your computer, find out which motherboard you have and then check with their particular website. They'll tell you which key to press. As you're booting you'll press a certain hotkey that will bring up your BIOS and then you will select the USB drive to boot from. Okay, so once you do that and you have your uh, USB ISO, once you um, boot up, now I'm going to go through something one more time. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shut down this Okay, I'm going to go through something because as I was talking, uh, we missed one important screen on the Manjaro, and I want to make sure I cover everything with you. So if I start this again, um, and then you come to the screen where you're going to select your install. Now you're going to either take the standard install or the non-free drivers. If you have a Broadcom Wi-Fi card or if you have an AMD or ATI graphics card or an NVIDIA graphics card you will select non-free. If you're not sure go with the standard install. I know that I have Broadcom and I have uh, NVIDIA so I'm gonna go with the non-free drivers install. So then once you highlight that you're gonna press enter and it'll start loading up <clears throat> the Manjaro desktop. Once you get to the desktop, now it's going to take a minute because it usually takes just about 10 or 15 seconds for this particular um, USB uh, ISO to actually boot to the desktop. So once you get to the desktop, basically you're going to select the installer file and I'll show you where that is in a moment. Now you'll have the welcome screen which gives you a lot of information. You can go through that, go through the readme file, uh, go through the wiki. Um, you can do that either before or after you install. It's up to you. 
uh, but we're just going to get right to the install. I'm going to close out this welcome screen. Now on your desktop you will see the icon at the bottom says install the operating system and that's what you want to do. You can either double click that or you can right click and select execute. Once you do that you'll have your first screen. It's going to say welcome to the installer. Okay, so we're going to make sure that our language is correct. In my case this is correct and usually it is. It usually picks up where you are and will insert the correct language. So we're going to click next. Then we're going to make sure that our region is correct. In my case it is. I want the New York time zone. And so the language language is going to be set to English and the numbers and dates locale will be set to English. You can change either of those but there's no need to in this case. Now it's also going to bring up your keyboard and my my keyboard is a generic 105 key. That's fine. English US default. No problems at all. Now it's going to ask me where I want to install Manjaro. Now if you were uh, installing, I'm installing in a virtual box, uh, but if you were installing on your hard drive it would give you probably a couple of additional options. It would ask you if you want to install <coughs> alongside Windows. You might want to pick that. Or if you've already created a petition for your Linux install, which is what I recommend. If you're comfortable doing that, uh, if you're running Windows and you want to install as a dual boot, then you would select install alongside Windows. <clears throat> and the installer would take care of the rest for you. If you uh, are just have just decided that you want to get rid of Windows, and you don't have any other operating systems on that disk or anything that you that you have not backed up and and that, that brings up a good point before you start this process go ahead and make sure you've backed up everything that's of importance to you make sure there is no second chance once you install make sure that you uh, back up everything that you need so once you are sure that everything's backed up, uh, then you're going to select your install scheme or your petitioning scheme. In my case, I'm going to select Erase Disk because I'm using a 16 gig virtual box drive. Um, so there's no, it's not going to overlap and go on to any other drive in my machine. But if you're doing an install alongside Windows, then you either want to create your petition ahead of time or select the install alongside Windows option. And if you're not 100% clear on that, shoot me a, a, a message in, in the comments and I'll try to clarify whatever your specific question is. But in my case now, I'm going to select Erase Disk and it's going to use this 16 gig virtual drive that I have created. So now I'm going to select next. Now you have the option of encrypting your system. I don't normally do that but <clears throat> that would be entirely up to you. And my bootloader location is going to be on my uh, 16 gig virtual box drive. Yours may be located <clears throat> differently. You'd have to take a look at that. If you're uh, installing alongside Windows, it's going to be on your uh, master boot record of your of your Windows drive, but uh, you'll have to fine-tune that as you go. This petitioning is the, the trickiest part of the install. So make sure, as I said, make sure you've backed up everything before you attempt this process. So now I'm going to click Next and then it's going to ask your name. Okay, so you can also use your put your full name, the name you want to use for login, and the name of the computer. Now you'll select and you can change any of those or all of those. 
Now you'll select the password and you'll enter it twice and then you can choose to log in automatically or you can leave it blank and it'll ask you for a password every time you log in. If you're going to be running multi-user then you'll want to um, leave that unchecked. If you're, if you're the only user on the machine and you want to log in automatically you can check that. There, you, do, you do sacrifice a little bit on security when you elect signing in without a password. Okay, so I'm going to check login automatically without asking for a password because it is a virtual box install. And I'm going to use the same password for the administrator account. You can use a different password for administrator. I, I use the same one. So I'll click next. <clears throat> it's going to give you an outline of everything that you have selected. It's going to install on my virtual box disk with a file system ext4 it's going to install Manjaro on that new partition and install the bootloader to the same drive so just check through make sure it's everything that you've agreed to you can go back if you want to change anything we're gonna click next now it's gonna go through the install <clears throat> I'm gonna pause the video and I will resume the video once the process is complete. Be right back. Okay, and as you can see, the process has completed. The install is done. Um, it, it has been installed. Now, what you're going to do is, if you want to check your install, you're going to click Restart Now and Quit. So it's going to power down and restart and it should when it comes up with this screen you're gonna click boot from hard disk then it's gonna to go to your grub screen as you can see it's listing Manjaro Linux and now it is booting into your live system now once it gets to your desktop you can double check to make sure everything looks okay. First thing you're going to do, and this again, you can see the difference in this desktop versus the install desktop. When we booted to the install desktop, there were many more icons here. Now you only have three. You have a trash can, file system, and your home folder. If I double click the home folder you can see I've got files created for desktop documents downloads music pictures public templates and videos everything that you need is there <clears throat> it is very similar to a Windows configuration but different uh, in a lot of respects so you'll want to spend a little bit of time uh, t taking a look at your new system go through the file system if if I click on file system you'll see there are lots of uh, folders created and those hold the f the files that are necessary to to run and maintain your operating system what you want to be concerned about is your home folder and as you can see under home I have LAN and then the various files that I talked about <clears throat> let's take a, a little bit more of a look around it uh, on the Manjaro XFCE you'll have your uh, menu icon in the bottom left if you click on it you will see that you've got various categories for your uh, for your applications now as you can see the window doesn't appear to be long enough you see there are categories that you have to scroll down to but you can change that just hover over this corner and stretch it up a little bit now you can also put your categories on the left I prefer them on the left I'll show you how to do that right click the icon go to properties go to behavior uh, click on switch categories by ho uh, hovering and then position categories next to panel button and also I usually display my 
my favorites, my 10 favorites by default. So once you do that, close it out, and now you'll see the categories are on the left, and you, you don't have to click them, but just hover over them, and they will give you all of the applications that are loaded within that category. If you're looking for something and you're not sure, but you know the name, you can type it right in the box. So if I want Firefox, if I type FI, I've got Firewall, File Manager, Application Finder, <clears throat> and Firefox. So that is it, guys, for this install video. Enjoy your installation of Manjaro. It's a terrific, terrific operating system, not only for beginners, but ev every level of expertise within Linux. So guys, thanks for stopping by the channel today. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you soon. Take care.